So here we have some young Wapato. Um, you can see it's also known as arrow leaf, by the way the leaves are. And uh, so you have the leaves above water, and then down in the, the mud um, is the tuber. And so this was a very common food for our tribes, the Yam Hills and Tualatin Kalapuyas, uh, Wapato Lake, um, just near Gaston, a big huge lake uh, where there were many actually Tualatin villages around that lake and then from the lake they gathered the Wapato. Along the Columbia River and Lower Willamette were the sloughs and ponds and things. And so the Wapato grew pretty common in those areas. And then it's scattered along the Willamette River um, from the mouth up to the Eugene area. And uh, it likes kind of the slow moving water. Um, and then that's where you'll see it most, most likely to be in the side ponds and sloughs that are moving. And uh, so the tuber is gathered and they also called this Indian potato. And because the tuber, you can pretty much just gather it up and then uh, kind of bake it on the coals and things like that. And, and you have a, um, pretty much cook it like a little potato. And, um, and traditionally, you know, one of the ways of gathering the wapato is where in the shallow ponds and things where it grew, um, the women would actually wade into those areas. They'd use their bare feet to kind of um, um, dig into the mud and then find the bulbs and then loosen them with their toes and then the, the bulbs would float to the top. Um, gather them that way and then they usually had their their gathering canoes, smaller uh, gathering canoes and so they would just loosen them, gather them, as they float to the top and put them in their canoes and gather them that way. Um, so this is actually a very very common one of our traditional foods. And then uh, what we're doing today is we're trying to do inventories of the Wapato throughout Western Oregon here, up in the Portland area and along the Willamette River. And uh, one of our big concerns is whether or not it's safe to consume since it's in the, in the, in the, in the mud and the waterways and things like that. And a lot of the places have history of contamination. And so some of the work we've been doing in recent years has been to um, collect samples and start testing it and um, we're hoping to both um, do more extensive testing of both the tubers themselves as well as the mud that they're they're growing in and hopefully we'll have a, a better understanding of how safe it is to consume and and then uh, work on um, ways to make areas safer for consumption which might take some time but we're looking into the future for future generations also